South Park's cheap production mistakes. From silly jokes to sharp social commentary, South Park has entertained people all around the world with its playful appeal. Hold still, Kenny. But only a fraction of people know that behind the outrageousness lies a secret world of production mistakes. South Park's animation style is intentionally simple, using basic cutout characters and plain backgrounds, which adds to the show's charm. But hidden within this low-budget production are funny mistakes that keen viewers have noticed. So let's explore the moments when things get a little weird, the storylines don't match up, and the show's rules seem to take a break. But before we start, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. In the wild and wacky world of South Park, where laughter reigns supreme, even our favorite characters can't escape the occasional slip-up. In the episode Overlogging, a tiny mistake manages to find its way into the storyline, and it's simply too amusing to overlook. Our buddy Kyle, known for his smarts and quick thinking, finds himself in a predicament. He urgently announces that he needs to log on before school. It seems quite reasonable, but wait for it. In the very next scene, a bold caption pops up on the screen. Monday, eight days later. Now let's put on our thinking caps for a moment and do some basic counting. If we backtrack eight days from a Monday, we end up on, drum roll please, a Sunday. Oh Kyle, what happened there? Did you stumble upon a secret time warp or unlock a hidden dimension in South Park? Maybe you have your very own time zone where Sundays are magically part of the school week. We can only speculate. One thing's for certain though, our resident brainiac had a little whoopsie doodle when it came to checking the calendar. Is it possible that- Now let's ponder the possible consequences of Kyle's time-traveling mishap. Did he face the wrath of his parents for attempting to log on during a day that technically didn't exist? Did he find himself grounded in a time loop, reliving the fictional Sunday over and over again? Or did the creators of South Park simply decide to bend the rules of time for a good laugh? Now, let's go back in time to the very first episode of South Park. Go home, you little dildo! Cartman gets an anal probe. There's a funny little mistake hiding in the classroom scene that's worth a giggle or two. Keep your eyes peeled for a poster of the Laughing Cavalier on the back wall. All seems normal until the final shot of that scene rolls in, and poof, the poster magically disappears, replaced by an astronaut poster. It's like the Cavalier decided to take a break from all the laughing and blast off to space. Imagine the adventures of this unexpected astronaut soaring through the cosmos with Major Tom cracking jokes and exploring the unknown. Who knew South Park could launch characters into outer space? You guys, get me down from ya! Ah. But let's not get too carried away with intergalactic fantasies. It's just a little slip up in continuity that might slip past most viewers, but not the eagle-eyed ones. Now we've stumbled upon a rib-tickling mistake in the episode Mr. Garrison's Fancy New Vagina. Here's the lowdown. During a pivotal basketball game following Kyle's negroplasty, keep your eyes peeled for a hilarious slip up. I love basketball. I want to play for the Denver Nuggets someday. As a well-dressed gentleman takes the stage to perform, direct your attention to the background. What do you see? It's none other than the basketball players, including Kyle himself. But Kyle, who underwent a surgical transformation to become black, is still stuck in his previous white form, sporting his old jersey like nothing ever changed. In this moment of comedic gold, we witness a continuity blunder. It seems that the animators forgot to update Kyle's appearance for this particular scene. Perhaps they got caught up in the whirlwind of South Park's zany shenanigans, and the slip-up slipped through the cracks. But as we know, that's the beauty of South Park, embracing imperfections and finding humor in the unexpected. You can stay over now, but I'm going over now. In the South Park episode Rainforest Schmain Forest, a small but noticeable mistake sneaks its way into the scene, leaving us scratching our heads. At a crucial moment when Cartman decides to venture off and explore a nearby construction zone, something peculiar happens. As the camera pans to show the rest of the gang from a frontal view, Cartman is still standing among them. Now, this continuity error might make you do a double take. How on earth did Cartman manage to be in two places at once? Did he discover a glitch in the fabric of space and time? Or was it simply an oversight by the animators? 
Regardless of the explanation, it's clear that this scene fails to maintain a consistent portrayal of Cartman's whereabouts. While this mistake may not drastically impact the storyline, it does momentarily disrupt the flow of the episode and catch the attention of observant viewers. It serves as a gentle reminder that even in the world of animated shows like South Park, small errors can slip through the cracks. In this case, Cartman's simultaneous presence in both the construction zone and with the rest of the group is an oversight that momentarily detracts from the overall coherence of the scene. Now let's take a delightful trip again to the early days of South Park with the fan favorite episode, Cartman Gets an Anal Probe. In this hilariously bizarre adventure, the town's fourth graders find themselves caught up in a whirlwind of extraterrestrial encounters, but a small yet noticeable continuity error manages to sneak its way into the cafeteria scene. As the scene unfolds in the cafeteria, keep a sharp eye on the positions of our beloved characters, Stan and Cartman. As the boys make their initial appearance, Stan confidently stands in front of Cartman, just as you'd expect. All seems perfectly normal at first glance, but in the very next shot, as Kyle draws attention to Wendy Testaberger's presence, Stan magically switches places with Cartman, now positioned behind his hefty friend. It's a moment that defies the laws of physics and leaves us scratching our heads with a mix of amusement and curiosity. This sudden positional swap feels like a whimsical game of animated musical chairs. It's as if Stan possesses a hidden talent for teleportation, effortlessly moving from one spot to another in the blink of an eye. Or perhaps the South Park cafeteria itself has a mischievous personality toying with the spatial relationships of its occupants for a dose of comedic effect. Whatever the reason behind this amusing continuity hiccup, it's a testament to the show's willingness to embrace the unexpected and inject a touch of playfulness into the scene. Let's dive again into the episode Cartman Gets an Anal Probe and discover a tiny hiccup that slipped past the South Park production team. Pay close attention to Stan after he vomits from Wendy talking to him at school. Now, it's only natural to expect a lingering puddle of puke, right? Well, here's where things get a bit peculiar. In a few shots following the vomit scene, the vomit magically disappears into thin air as if it never happened. It's like Stan's barf had an invisibility cloak. We're left wondering how this mystical vanishing act occurred. Did Stan's stomach develop a cleaning system that works at lightning speed? Or perhaps the South Park universe operates on different rules, where vomit can simply vanish without a trace? Regardless of the reason, this continuity mistake adds a touch of whimsy to the episode. In the episode Fat Cam, during a scene where Stan and Kenny confront Chef about Kenny potentially being a prostitute, here's where things take an amusing turn. Take a look at Kyle's mouth. You'll notice something a bit off. His mouth is rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise. It's a revealing mistake that breaks the rules of anatomy and leaves us scratching our heads. Did Kyle suddenly acquire a superpower to twist his mouth in unnatural ways? Or perhaps the animators got a bit playful and decided to give Kyle's mouth a twist for comedic effect. Either way, it's a small blunder that adds a dash of whimsy to the episode. In the wacky world of South Park, where even the laws of physics can be bent, it's no surprise that characters' mouths can take on unexpected angles. So that seems enough, folks. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section, and subscribe for more videos.